I cannot think of a much more beautiful way to start the weekend than with a nice 10 mile hike. What a gorgeous morning. I'm at the Clearwater Lake recreational area, just the southern tip of the Ocala National Forest and we're gonna hike 10 miles this morning. I'm waiting for the rest of the group and we're gonna get going. I'll be in the back. You'll be in the back. <laughs> I might switch later, but I'll be in the in the back for now. Right here in the forest. I don't think we could have picked a better morning for hiking. It started cool in the low 60s, but oh my gosh, is it nice right now? And this is where we're going Alexander Springs. more of the uh, prickly pear cactus. All the pretty flowers are gone. So this is nothing special here, but this has something to do with how I got my trail name. Ants. Turns out that if you step on their mound, they will attack you rather viciously. And it's happened to me, oh, I don't know, two or three times while hiking. And the last time they got both of my ankles really badly, really severely. I had about 15 to 20 bites in each ankle. And I still have scars that haven't completely healed. And this is now six, probably six weeks later. So... Now you would think I've learned from that and I would <laughs> pay attention to where I'm going or rather where I'm stepping, where I'm stopping. Um, and I don't. In fact, I took a pee off the trail a couple of <laughs> weeks ago and um, yeah, I'm standing on an anthill. So they didn't get me that time. I was fast enough, but that's how it happened. And so my trail name is now Ansi. And that doubles actually for the actual meaning of the word because I'm usually rather anxious and antsy to get going. And so if it fits, it fits and I'll take it. <laughs> Thank you. 
So we're about uh, six miles in at this point and it's now actually starting to look a little more forest-like. So there's a lot more trees. They're a lot more dense and got burn on the ground. And so this is probably more what you would traditionally call a forest. But it's not always like this because it's Florida. And so this is really what's considered forest therapy. I mean, look, you're just under these canopies and it's so quiet. And you see this little frog quacking and nothing else. That's how you get ticks. So this is pretty amazing because this area burned probably no more than a couple months ago and then probably got a little bit of rain right after and everything is back. So the only thing that burned was that really dry, crunchy stuff on the ground and um, those prescribed forest fires take care of that so that nothing goes up in flames by itself, really. So it looks ghostly. Um, and dead, but it isn't at all. And we're in the desert. Typical Florida sugar sand and lots of it. I have to say, I love how the landscape just changed in the last two miles. So we went through this really green, lush forest and then the burned area with the sugar sand. And then all of a sudden it's like this open space here. And as you can see up ahead, it's getting green and dense again. And oh, it's just beautiful. Oh, here's the wind rustling the trees. Just peaceful. <laughs> 